Hey guys, uh, Nanto here, the author of the brand new book, uh, Prepare Now, 10 Practical Guides to Surviving and Thriving uh, During Crisis. Well, I'm out here this afternoon with my fam, just taking a quick stroll. However, I recently put out a blog post about self-care. I just wanted to chat with you a little bit about that. Uh, first, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, how are you taking care of yourself? Is this something that you practice, self-care? Nothing really self-care, the way I define it is anything that you do to really take care of yourself, anything that you do to practice a self-love, that's really what that, that's what self-care is all about. Um, so one of the things, especially in a time like this crazy time we are living in a pandemic period, you have to invest that time to really practice self-care. Whatever that is, anything that nourishes you, anything that kind of keeps you sane, there are a couple of things that you can do to practice self-care. You like to ride, you like to garden, or just having that uh, morning personal like me time, for example. Whatever that is, you need to dedicate time. You don't want to interrupt it. The key to practicing our self-care is consistency. Consistency is very important. You don't want to make sure that you don't interrupt it. You got to get in the routine. For example, for me, in the morning, early morning is really a very big part for me. That personal morning devotion. I don't let the kids get in the way. I don't let any member of my family get in the way because that personal time in prayer and devotion is critical for me. It helps me to set the right tone for the day it helps me to set the right mood for the day throughout the day how it really helps me to keep me strong and going so that is one thing that I do second thing another way I practice self-care is really taking a shower like a bad long shower one of the things that drew for me like during shower I just spend some time I really think I'm a very busy person working full-time my parent and author writer you can imagine how hectic days can be but this is a time that when I spend in the shower I really spend that ample time just thinking and just gathering some thought it's just self-soothing for me I don't have to do active work I don't have to do active thinking I find it very refreshing the other way I practice self-care is gardening. For me, like gardening is just unbelievable. It is therapeutic for me. I just stay there, you know, just reflect on stuff, you know, as I do my gardening, taking care of the plants, just every day watching them grow. It is just amazing for me. So what is your self-care? What are you doing to make sure that you're investing in yourself? Make sure that you're practicing, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Self-care is nothing but self-love. You know, some of us, especially as a parent, it is tempting to feel like guilty that if you don't spend some time to yourself, like me time, that you're probably robbing yourself the opportunity to uh, stay with your family, your kids, but that is wrong. If you don't love yourself, it's gonna be hard to love others. If you don't take care of yourself, it's gonna be hard to really take care of others. So remember, in this whole pandemic, one of the ways you can truly, truly take care of yourself is to practice self-care. Be sure to check out my blog in the blog post. I have all kinds of information there for you. Some of the ways you can actually just start and then continue to grow from there. Self-care is very critical. So guys, let me know what you think. Be sure to head over to my blog uh, just to read the whole full article. There's several aspects of self-care to look into. Think about the physical side of it. Think about the spiritual side of it. Think about the mental side of it. Think about the financial side of it. Think about the purpose side of it. So all these are ways you can practice self-care head over to my blog at ktvahealth.com ktvahealth.com you're gonna find all the information that you need there thank you guys and i look forward to chatting with you soon